Hello, good evening everybody. This is Nelka again and we will continue our tutorial for this project. We will go back to the request of our friend Mr. Ahmed Al Orabi and he wants to have um a tutorial on how to do a flooring tiles which is seamless and glossy. So let's use the same project and we will create a very glossy material and a seamless floor. So yeah, let's continue and use this project. Let's go! But for now, I would like to add some twist in our design. I would like to put some blinds on the glass window because it's too glary in during the daytime. <laughs> so let's put some lines here and let's select the Hella product and let's load it here. Oh my god. Okay, let's put it up. Little one. Okay, I think this is fine. Alright, now we have lines. It's cool, right? And now let's continue with our material selection. So he asked for the seamless floor. Actually, Mr. Ahmed, you can select a lot of texture from Google. You can create using this one. And then you can also select it from the catalog materials of Dialux itself. So, for example, for the indoor, you can select it in the floor and then, um, let's say, linoleum, carpet, wood, and then tiles. For this one, I think I selected this one. So, yeah. You can also select this one. So, seamless means there's no cutting line, like, like in tiles, like, like this one. There's no line like this. So, yeah, you can select a lot. Actually, in um, Google Images, you can select a lot of tile uh, floor textures which are seamless. Just type, um, for example, granite seamless texture or, yeah, maybe carpet if you like or anything, anything that ha doesn't have the line. So, for example, I will select this one and then I will say apply. And then I will add some glossiness. If you can see here, reflective coating. And now, uh, for example, I will add 10. Or oh, it's not obvious. I will say 50. 50 glossiness. And you can see immediately on the thumbnail that it's now glossy. But this one is too much. I think it has floor wax. Can we make it 10 only? So if I make it 10, see the small glossiness is there. So just apply the material and there you go. You cannot see it right now because um, it's not yet calculated and it's not uh, ray traced. You can only appreciate the glossiness once you do the ray tracing. Alright, so for example, this wall, let's click this material. So I put some 5% uh, reflective coating or glossiness. And for this material, it will be zero because it's a brick wall. And for example, this um ledge it has oh, sorry one percent and this one this is a glass so it should have at least 60 percent and if you click on the glass window also it has 82 percent so it depends and you need to check um the material specifications if you want to be precise with the glossiness glossiness okay and um i created one object here this will serve as our mirror so this one um let's go and copy this one control c and control v and move it somewhere here this one also let's move it here and now we have two objects the first one i will not create okay let's put some texture okay so this one i will make it as um painted and then let's say i will make this one as 20% glossy and then apply the material while the other one I will make this one as um, again painted and I will make this one as 80% so it will be look like glass oh, sorry 100% so let's apply it in one side only 
Okay, I think this is too much. Let's make it 80%. Okay, let's try 80%. My objective is to create a mirror. This one is a mirror, and the other one is just a plain, let's say, a decorative, um, maybe, I don't know, just, just an object on the wall. Or, you can put a painting on that. But later, I just want to show you the comparison between the uh, put uh, between putting a reflective coating of 80% and 10%, uh, 20%. Yeah. Okay. So let's go and um, run now the calculations. So let's. Oh wait. I would like to aim the lights because I added some lights here. So I'm planning to actually aim these lights to some somewhere. Maybe this one is here. This little one is on the vase. So okay, let's go and render it. Okay, so it's done now. Let's close this one and oh, see, this is so nice. Why there's a shadow in here? What is this? Oh shit! I okay, I face it somewhere. That's totally wrong. It should be upside down. Anyways, okay, it's fine with that. And how about our floors? So it's okay. Our spotlights are fine. Our cove lighting is also nice. And look, oops. Okay, let's save it for a while. Okay, so it is saved now. And we created a nice room. And now we will check the glossiness that we created for the floor, the walls, and these two objects. Uh, I think I created. Okay, it's fine. So you need to create a nice view where you can run a ray trace. Maybe this one. For example, this is your view. Let's move it out a little. So we will now see how our walls and floors and this mirror looks like once we run our ray trace. So let's go and select 1024 by 768 so it will not take so much of our time so let's go and start ray tracing and there you go our ray trace is now done um, I think I made a mistake copying the glass of the window here <laughs> it's too clear while here look at that see it looks like a mirror now and the 20% still glossy and if you can see on the floor this is I think I made it 10% and so glossy so I think it's wrong it should be 5% only so now you know that now you know that um, now you know that the glossiness is only in the what do you call that <laughs> reflective coating so yeah, if you want to see more, I will run another one and um, let's see. I think I need to reduce this one first because it's not good. And also the vase should be not so clear. Okay, let me edit that one. For the meantime, this one also. And then let's pick the floor. See, this is 10%, so we will make it 5 and enter. And then, no, let's, I think let's make it 3 only. Enter. And then apply apply material yes it will be invalid because we change it and the glass let's pick this one because it's too clear so let's make it um, let's say 60% only and then apply it here drag and drop 
and then this one this is 60 ah uh, so 60 so clear already also so let's make it maybe 40 percent no let's make it 30 <laughs> percent and let's play it here well this one let's make it 30 percent also and yeah and what else that we saw wrong okay so now you know that okay let's go back to the export and see now you know that this glass is really nice and this one is 20 percent and yeah you know that the difference now so okay let's run another calculation and see how it will look like so let's project the nice view again increase the view okay because once you do the ray tracing it will become smaller and maybe let's project it a little towards the mirror let's see uh, I'm sure it will create a lot of it will take time because it is now looking at a lot of things and once it once it runs the ray tracing it also generates all those objects reflecting on that mirror so anyways let's keep it the way we did before all right and then again um is it possible to run result is not current can we start a ray tracing even if it's not current let's see i never tried this one so okay let's go okay there you go now we finish our ray tracing even if it's not current calculating ah look at that see the vase is now much better compared to the previous ray trace that we did which is this one ah okay it's perfect so now we can compare the vase is not is much nicer now because look the color and the transparency is uh, perfect compared to this one it's too clear and the floor if you can see this um, what do you call that um, reflection is too bright compared to this one which is no longer that much and if you can see here um, let's go to the other side okay now in the mirror still on the floor uh, okay still the glossiness of the um, light balls are still there on the floor but compared to this one this is the original one that we did and this is the revision and um, see on the floor it's not it's much um, blurry compared to this one that is too clear because of the glossiness and still the same mirror that we have I, I did uh, we did not change that one so yeah I think this is nice now Ahmed you know now what to do and if you have more questions just let me know. Okay? Good night. Bye.